In this work, we take advantage of our autonomous driving platform Anyway to develop challenging real-world benchmarks. Our tasks of interest are stereo, optical flow, visual odometry, 3D object detection and 3D tracking. For this purpose, we equipped a standard station wagon with two high-resolution color and grayscale video cameras using a baseline of 54 cm. Accurate ground truth information is provided by a Velodyne laser scanner and a GPS localization system with integrated inertial measurement unit and RTK corrections. Our datasets are captured by driving around in a mid-sized city, rural areas and on highways. Up to 15 cars and 30 pedestrians are visible per image. Besides providing all data in raw format, we extract benchmarks for each task. For each of our benchmarks, we also provide an evaluation metric and an online evaluation website. Our stereo and optical flow benchmark comprises 200 training and 200 test image pairs at a resolution of half a megapixel. The benchmark includes difficulties such as non-lumbersion and reflecting surfaces, large feature displacements, different materials, as well as a variety of lighting conditions. Our evaluation provides results for all non-occluded as well as all ground truth pixels. Our 3D visual odometry dataset consists of 22 stereo videos with a total length of 40 km. This video shows some of our GPS ground truth trajectories. The proposed evaluation metrics minimize bias by computing errors over all possible sequences for a given trajectory length or driving speed. Our online evaluation server evaluates submitted results as a function of these two variables, capturing different sources of error. Our 3D object detection, object orientation and tracking benchmarks provide accurate 3D information in form of 3D bounding boxes for object classes such as cars, vans, trucks, pedestrians and cyclists. In order to generate 3D object ground truth, we hired a set of annotators. We asked them to assign 3D bounding box tracklets to all objects visible in the image. Following the Pascal challenge, we asked the annotators to additionally mark each bounding box as either visible, occluded or truncated. We hope that this video is attracting your interest to download our datasets and evaluate your methods on the proposed benchmarks. For better reproducibility, we encourage you and all other participants to provide method parameters or a link to binaries or source code.